No to the burqa and no to the niqab. In the town of Varallo in the north of Italy, the local mayor has taken the issue of women who wear Islamic face veils into his own hands. Though no national law forbids it, a bylaw here means offenders would be hit with a 500 euro fine. All this in spite of the fact that in the town of 8,000, no one actually wears the face veil. I didn't pass this order because I had seen any, but as a warning, to make it known that there are rules. We are not racist. When I speak of all the support that we've given to immigrants in recent years, it's not because I'm afraid of being labelled racist. The mayor, a member of the anti-immigration Northern League party, has also banned the full-length swimming costume known as the burkini from the town's swimming pool. His party, which shares power in a coalition led by Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi, now wants the ban on the niqab and burqa to be enforced throughout Italy, a move that is worrying the Muslim community. The burqa does not feature in the Quran, but if a woman wants to go swimming, I can't see who that's going to upset if she chooses to cover her body. I don't want to see the kind of politics that looks to ban everything and ends up restricting the lives of Muslims. Italy's Muslims are feeling increasingly marginalized. Since authorities forced the closure of the only mosque in Milan, the 100,000-strong Muslim community have only had the option of a few makeshift spaces around the city in which to pray. But here, there's no outright ban on women wearing the face veil. For now, at least.